So basically, when you when you get on live and you look in any old kind of way, you never know who's watching you. Right. So the best individual for you to choose might see you present yourself like that and then just be turned off. You know what I mean? Like, damn, you know, I was thinking about shooting my shot at her. But man, she on here with the bonnet. She constantly smoking. Basically, when you just present yourself any old kind of way, the right cats for you to choose, you're going to make them fall back. And somebody who might have been thinking about shooting a shot at you now has made up their mind to never shoot they shot at you. If you want all this pimping you can't afford, perform like a punk but want to win his reward. Some suckers give you points but bitch you never scored. If you ain't paying pimping then bitch you getting ignored. Okay. I'm so sick of these. Some people come into the game not knowing better than to do certain things, right? So like for instance, right, you got some chicks that come into the game that think it's a part of the game to supply party favors with tricks. They got whatever assortment of party favors that tricks be into, the nose candy, the pills, so on and so forth, right? And you got a lot of chicks, like I said, they come into the game and they don't know that that's not within a whole job description. So they do stuff like this, right? And they be so reckless with it we all done seen them chicks that put it on their story talking about, I got this on deck if you need it. I got that on deck if you need it. Some chicks be so reckless that they'll post videos of them making transactions or just them on a date, period. You know, that's, that's the type of stuff that a chick shouldn't even be putting on display, period. Just her interaction with a trick. Your camera shouldn't be involved in that at all. Whenever a chick is on a date, the camera don't have nothing to do with that. Your camera shouldn't be out. Your camera shouldn't be on. You shouldn't be doing TikToks with the trick. You shouldn't have the trick on your story on, on Snapchat or Instagram or Facebook, whatever. Your, your dealings with the trick shouldn't have nothing to do with your camera at all. But you got a lot of chicks to do stuff like this, right? I'm just telling you from the perspective of a P. These are the things that's going to make me not want to say nothing to you. It's going to make me unfollow you if I'm following you. You know, it's going to make me stop looking at your story. If I was looking at your story, it's going to make me stop watching your live. If I was watching your live, you know, I'm going to just fall all the way back because see, this is what you got to think about from a P's perspective, right? A P is thinking to itself like, okay, it's already my job to, to amplify anything that's good in a, in a chick, right? When she come choose me. And not just that, but like if there's anything that she learned wrong, it's my job to to deprogram that and reprogram that. It's my job to unlearn that and, and teach her something better than that. Right. Replace that bad knowledge with some good knowledge. Replace that bad information with some good information. Right. So a P wants to do as little of that as possible. He don't want to do too much of that to where it's unreasonable for him to take on his chick. Right. So some things are understandable. And, and a P going to be able to tell the difference between like, oh, she just doing that because she don't know no better. She think that's how the game go versus like, oh, she doing that because she just she just reckless. She don't care. She don't have no dignity. She she don't have no pride in herself. You know, she don't have no self-respect. So that's why she's doing all these things. Right. So I say all of that to say, you know, these, these are some of the things that's going to make it hard for you to choose the right individual right so if a real one the type of p that you supposed to choose that you supposed to be with that you supposed to dedicate yourself to and be down for right and give a good run that's gonna bring the best out of you and that's gonna actually like you take a liking to you right if you're doing all this kind of stuff if you if you go live looking ratchet you know what i mean if you go live either with the bonnet on or your hair looking a mess you know what I mean? If you go live and you got pizza boxes and soda cans and potato chip bags all in the background, sink full of dirty dishes, all this type of stuff. Your living quarters is a mess. Bra and panties and all type of shit laying around. You know, if you go live like this or if you put this type of stuff on social media, whether it's live on your story or whatever. Right. If you got the camera out while you on a date, you making videos with the trick, you doing TikTok dances because <laughs> you got some chicks that's even goofy like that. You got some chicks that be doing TikTok challenges with tricks, doing dances with the trick and all that old type of stuff like just crazy. Right. But when you're doing all of these things and in spite of that, you got cats that still trying to shoot their shot at you and still trying to knock you. If you choose any one of them dudes, it's going to be the wrong choice. Because 
that cat is shooting a shot at you for all the wrong reasons. One reason might be that he just don't know no better. And if he don't know no better when it comes to that, then he ain't got the game no way. And he ain't nobody that need to be chose anyway. So that or he just might be desperate. If a cat's still shooting a shot at you in spite of all of that, then that means he just desperate and he don't have no he don't have no dignity with his own pimping. He don't have no guidelines. He don't have no standards. And he's willing to accept anything and anybody. There's no scrutiny. There's no guidelines when it comes to choosing him. It's all comers. You know, he he taking all phase. He taking everybody, that, uh, whoever want to come and get down, you more than welcome, right? So this is a reason why a chick might choose wrong, right? If a cat see you doing all these ratchet things and he's still shooting a shot at you, he might not even have no clue or idea about the game. He might be a trick. He might be a, a dope boy. He might be a, a gangbanger. He might be a scammer. Basically, if you present yourself on social media any old ratchet ass kind of way and dudes are still shooting a shot at you, there's no way that that can go good. There's no good that's going to come out of that. You know, a lot of these chicks, if you pull up on them to go interview them, if you go into their apartment, house, or, or, or hotel room, or whatever the case may be, it's going to be a mess. You know, she not even going to put her best foot forward when it comes to meeting the pimping, right? She she might answer the door with a bonnet on in a robe and some sandals that got her feet dirty at the bottom. You know what I mean? She's just going to come any kind of way. And she's not thinking about how the best P that she can choose might be watching her and she don't even know who's watching. See, that's the thing about social media, right? You never know who's watching you. And that can play against you and it can play in favor of you, right? So with that being said, you know, pimping ain't just going to show you any old ratchet ass thing because, you know, like me, I think about things from the standpoint of it's a hoe out there. This the perfect type of hoe for me, right? She don't drink. She don't smoke. She don't do drugs. She's high maintenance. She takes care of herself, you know, physically, mentally, and spiritually. She's cooperative. She's willing to surrender herself to me. If I want that in a lady in the game, right, I got to make it make sense for a chick like that to choose me. So with that being said, you know, I'm not just going to present any old thing, whether I'm outside moving around in traffic or I'm on social media, the Internet, whatever I'm doing. Right. I'm going to make it make the most sense to choose me. That's why, you know, if you pay attention to the real pimping, the real pimping is just so high maintenance. He putting his best foot forward every time. Right. So back to the ladies in the game choosing wrong. You know, that's that's a big part of it. Right. You got to understand that if you just be any old kind of way. If your hair is nappy, if your nails ain't done, you, you know, you look like you got some mechanic hands. You look like you've been working on cars all day and, and that type of shit. And then you just you excessive when it comes to, to smoking or drinking. You might be live for 30 minutes and you just you done went through five cigarettes, six cigarettes within that 30 minutes of the live. You just you just constantly smoking or you got that vape in your hand. See, pimping, look at all that kind of stuff like, oh, man. Or if you down on the blade. And you live, you going live from the blade where you supposed to be catching dates at, or you doing TikTok videos on the blade, you know, pimping, look at all that kind of stuff. Whether he sees you on the internet doing it, or he's out riding the blade and he sees you doing it. You know what I mean? Or he out in the casino, walking through the casino and he see you doing it. That stuff that, that, that a P don't want a, a 304 doing, and then a 304 that's serious about what she's doing is not even going to be interested or inclined to do these kind of things, right? A chick that's really at her bag, that's really trying to check it. A chick that got her mind made up when she step outside tonight, like, I'm going to check it. I'm, I'm going to check a big old bag tonight. You know, a chick that, that took like two hours or, or more or longer to get ready, you know, so that when she step outside, she giving it her best. A chick like that is not even interested in being in her phone. Like me, when I'm riding the blade, right? Or if I'm campaigning in a casino, Collins Avenue, South Beach, wherever I'm at, right? Strip club, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, I pay his attention. If I'm out moving around, I see a chick with some earbuds in, she's not going to hear a word from me. I'm not even going to open my mouth to a chick with earbuds in, right? Because I shouldn't even have to explain to you why it makes no sense for you to be at work with earbuds in. I shouldn't have to explain to you how it makes you vulnerable, how, you know, it puts you at a disadvantage when it comes to guarding yourself and protecting yourself and when it comes to getting the money, because there's so much that you're going to miss when your ears are not available in what you're doing. Right. 
That's like walking around on the blade with a blindfold on. To have earbuds in, to me, is just as dangerous as walking the blade with a blindfold on. Because both of them make you vulnerable, right? So, you know, these are just some of, like, many things that a P going to see and it's just going to turn him off and he not even going to say nothing to you. So if somebody does say something to you in spite of that, nine times out of ten, it's going to be the wrong choice, right? This is just one example of why 304s choose wrong, right? Dig this. Nah. I've been stroking relentless, took it waves like this uh -huh. I spoke into existence for her to pay like this In the trenches on a day like this Traffic consistent and so I have to insist that she relay my chips okay. It's a trap with her name on it and my game on it right. Any forces coming against this game, shame on it right. Standing on my pimping from day one and remain on it It carried me through every terrain and I gained on Come it on. Experience, joy and pain on it, sustained on it But getting back to this game that I never left Baby, I